hope you all enjoyed that um, money expose and have a better understanding of it all. So we've come to the last piece. And here, here is a good quote that asks us all to think. And we like that type of processing. And it says, in the end, we return to the question. Just how much do you love truth? Do you really love truth or are you just curious? Do you love it enough to rebuild your understanding to conform to a reality that doesn't fit your current beliefs and doesn't feel 100% happy? Do you love truth enough to continue seeking even when it hurts? When it reveals aspects of yourself or human society or the universe that are shocking, complex and disturbing or humbling, glorious and amazing or even when truth is far beyond the human mind itself. Just how much do we love truth? And it's a good question to ask ourselves, I think. And here is some truth. Listen very closely. We the people enter this key month with another revocation that all listening must apply to. We do not consent to your spiritual warfare this month on any given day. We do not consent to your Omnicron spell casting or word magic either. We do not consent to you invoking the spirit world or calling in of the demons, fake gods or other malevolent dark forces. We do not consent to your full moon rituals, one of which is today, about an hour's time. We do not consent to your invoking of Ophiuchus either, the serpent bearer indeed. We see you and you will not prevail. We do not consent to any of your rituals you plan this month, and a word of warning should you choose to play, so will we, with devastating consequences. They are planning the switching of dates again. Nice try, assholes, but we will be ready then as well. The 333 date is almost upon us now. It is our date, not theirs. And I'm calling on all warriors to start now, not wait for the 21st. Now. I'm asking for those with abilities to join me in doing a planetary wide clearing starting now through the end of this year. To the clowns, dark magicians and psychopaths, your time is up. Step aside and go somewhere where you are more useful. The day of the Svarog is still dawning, but our light shines brighter now than ever, and once again we will claim our rightful heir and guardianship of this planet. And it will be ran in a much better and fairer way than you all did. I often ponder aloud and come across situations and events, events in life, that cross-link with other parts of life and people. And I've seen various images around the world of roads, bridges, rail lines, interstates all broken, and the lifeblood of their system dying with it. You see, those roads were not for us. Those roads can be seen as links 
to connect us all quicker and more convenient, it is said. But it was not for our convenience, it turned out. As roads bypassed small towns, which led to reduced traffic and suddenly the lifeblood of the town ebbed away. At the end of the interstate, which invariably led to a concrete jungle town or city, for their benefit, not ours. The roads linked us all together and then bound us to their concrete jungles. But people are changing and no longer seek the same roads or modes of travelling anymore. In essence, they are choosing to walk or drive their own path, the road less travelled, so to speak. And for those people, they will find out that not all roads leads to Rome. You are on the roads that leads away from it. Ponder on that. It has a much deeper meaning. But along your road less travelled, you are surprised to find many others of like-minded and similar thinking people along the way. And we find we are all linked, but not bound. We are like a jewellery clasp that forms a chain of people. But unlike other chains that bind, this clasp has an open and shut part to allow for free will. Is it a coincidence that the UK enacted laws against people linking together? No, it is symbolic of their fears. And if that wasn't the case, then the truth would not fear investigation. But it's not the truth they seek, is it? They seek compliance and asking people to bind into their programs of lies and delusion. And what has been lost in the avalanche of COVID data is the dark magician's roles in guiding the stupid amongst us to agree to their own demise. It is the dance on the edge of dynamics again, where they will argue that we told you and you still went ahead and consented to it. And that has been the forte of the dark forces for aeons, dancing on the edges of cosmic law, whereby technically they haven't broken the law, as the people consented to it. It is both genius and disingenuous in equal measure. But our role in this has to be seen as something far more significant than people think or give credit. We are linking and networking against the system whilst holding each other aloft in an, in an energising way. We must keep recognising our own achievements because nobody else will. The saying keep the faith often wrongly associated with the ultimate in control systems, religion. They call it blind faith for a reason because if people could see they would see through the whole illusion that brings to childlike saviour-based people. The same religions who label us all as sinners, creating low vibrational beings and guilt and shame complexes on everyone. The Ten Commandments. Because if you read them in the right way, it is not possible to fulfil any one of those rules. It was designed that way. Thou shalt not look at another woman or man. How can anyone pass that test? The answer is you are not meant to. Thou shalt not steal. Is again fairly wide ranging when you see. 
Most people fiddle their taxes. Is that not stealing? And many low vibrational people are energy harvesters. Vampiric in nature. Is that not stealing? So you see their rules or laws can never be fulfilled. And so we were all declared sinners who must pay for our sins. Except the real sinners all went off scot-free due to their day of atonement and passed all their crimes on to us. Again, it's both genius and disingenuous. But keep the faith actually means keep the knowledge. But these demons and satanics through their religious and religions declared eating the fruit of knowledge is a sin. No, not swallowing the knowledge is the greatest sin for the vast amount of people on this planet, which is why they line up for their death and injury jabs in their millions. They didn't start the the faith to be able to keep it to begin with. And that has and will be their downfall along with the clowns. Symbolism and greed has been their downfall at great cost to their own souls, as they will all soon find out. On the road to Judgment Day indeed. Let's make it unfold. Do not wait at the end of the year. You start now. Use your imagination of who and what to target and let's end this filth on this planet once and for all. We've destroyed the last seven, eight or nine winter solstices. Let's make it another. Only this time, let's make it last. Do not wait. Let's take action now. Thank you and good night. Thank you.